Hi everybody and welcome! In today's video I want to give you a quick update of where we are at with the open source research project. But first of all, I want to thank the whole community from the bottom of my heart because the answer to the open source research initiative has been overwhelming. In less than a week we had 118 people who joined the project filling up the survey. So. I think like this is amazing, but what I want to do here as a first thing is share with you like the type of people who are participating and describing like the demographics so that you also have an idea of who you are collaborating with. So this is like the, the Google survey that I had. As you can see, we have uh, 118 respondents. And now let's take a look at different uh, questions that I've asked. So regarding the background, occupation, 50% of the people are students. Then we have a few machine learning engineers and data scientists, a handful of audio programmers, a few software developers, and 7% of the people who are researchers. And then, yeah, there's a bunch of like open uh, uh, fields and people. And in here, like I see like a lot of people who are like software developers or stuff like that. Okay. Then what about the level of expertise in AI music? Well, it seems like that most people are not very, very familiar with AI music. There's only a minority, I would say, of less than 10% who have a certain degree of experience in AI music. And this is good news because it means that people can learn a lot throughout this journey. Okay, moving on. We have a quite strong uh, like Python uh, base here. So as you can see, 50% uh, of the people say that they have like fair, a fair amount of experience programming in Python and almost 20% a lot of experience. This is good because we're going to write code in Python in case we decide to implement a new algorithm. So what's your experience carrying out research? Well, uh, also here, most of the people are not that experienced, but we have a good 30% of people who have like substantial experience doing research. And this is great because like these people can help out the less experienced people who can grow. So what's your experience with writing academic papers? Well, and this is like a similar figure, right? We have a minority of probably 20% of people who have like some experience or uh, yeah, substantial experience, I should say, writing academic papers. And finally, what's your level of expertise in audio DSP? Again, here, most people are not really that into audio digital signal processing. So there, there's almost like 50% of people who have like moderate experience, but the, the more experienced people are probably 15% or less. Now, it's not super clear if we're going to be using audio DSP, but yeah, it's good to know. So this is an idea of the people who've um, kind of like joined the open source research projects so far. But the thing is that this number is going to grow over time. And uh, a question that I got um, answered, a question that I got quite a lot was regarding the sign up itself, right? So. Uh, how does like sign up works for open source research? Is this like some? Is there like a deadline? Well, there's no deadline. So the 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 initiative, the project is gonna last probably five six months from the moment we'll actually start it. But then throughout the process, you can just like join up at any moment. So it's kind of like a rolling, always open sign up situation but for signing up you have to always like fill up the survey which by the way is in the description box below if you want to, uh, to sign up to that and then what i'll do once uh, i receive a certain amount of requests through the survey i'll send some batch emails with instructions uh, so on how to proceed with the sign up is itself. So don't expect that when you sign up on or when you submit the survey, you automatically get like this uh, an email with instructions because I'm doing that manually. And so I'm just like doing that in batches. When will we have the kickstart um, of the project? Well, that is going to be on Saturday, 14th of November, and it's going to be through a Zoom meeting. So it's going to be a live setting. So uh, there we're going to just like present ourselves, understanding who's who, and then I'm going to 
give a little bit of a, an overview of the tools and the procedures that we'll be using for uh, just like managing the project or for carrying out all the tasks for the project. And then I'm also going to outline some of the goals that, that I have in mind for step one, which is that of topic selection. So uh, one thing is that I have a date for the Kickstart Zoom meeting, which is going to be Saturday 14th. But I don't have a time yet. And this is something that I would like to discuss with you guys. So probably I'm going to have a poll in the Sound of the Ice Black community with a bunch of like different times. And so, yeah, we'll decide together what's the best time. Okay, so another thing. So last time I introduced a bunch of online tools that we'll be using for like communicating with each other, for interacting, for being up to date uh, with what's happening. But I actually forgot to mention that I want to have uh, a few uh, update videos on my YouTube channel so that people can just like tune in and see what happened last week or a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, th th this is my plan. It's still like work in progress, but uh, I'm having like this idea of like keeping track of what we're doing and what we've done uh, through YouTube videos. Okay, so I've got quite a lot of questions from like contributors and other people who are interested in this project. So one of these uh, questions was about all, all authorship, right? So the, the main problem here is that it seems like very difficult to have more than a hundred people featured in a academic in an academic paper, right? So I'm trying to find a solution of how to credit all of these people for the work that they'll be doing in the publication that we'll have. So I don't have an answer yet, but I'm working on that. And what I'm thinking also of doing is uh, just like having a conversation also with the organizers of the conference where I would like to submit the paper that we'll uh, produce together and see if we can find a solution to this problem together. Okay, another problem that I'm investigating right now is that of finding like a very effective project management uh, structure. And that's because we're going to have a lot of people, a lot of different tasks. And yeah, the whole thing is going to be like a very distributed and bottom up. So we need to have like something in place that works well. And so I'm trying to like build a management project management structure that may work well and also try to appoint a few lead researchers who can help me manage the whole process. Okay, so uh, the if you haven't joined the Sound of AI community uh, on Slack, I highly suggest you to go do that because the Slack um, group is going to be like the main one where the conversation will be happening. Uh, asynchronously and so you can find the sign up link in the description box below but uh, the moment like you sign up I want to give you like kind of like th the main direction where or like to orientate yourself like there you're gonna have a lot of channels but for this project we'll be talking to each other in the open source research channel. Now, for the people who are already members of the community, you have to go and join the open source research channel because uh, I just added it like a week ago or something like that. Okay, so here I want to suggest what you can do while we wait for the Kickstart meeting. So in this meantime, uh, so what you can do is familiarize yourself with some of the topics in AI music creativity. And that would be like a good exercise because like a lot of people, the majority of people are not, don't have a big experience in AI music creativity. So how do you do that? Well, the easiest thing is to go check out AI music creativity resources. And here I'm listing some of this. Uh, some of these are just like conferences. So like the 2020 joint conference on AI music creativity or a bunch of different conferences called uh, Conference on Computer Simulation of Musical Creativity. There was like the 2016 iteration, 2017, 2018 as well. And then we have the Music Meta Creation uh, Workshops. And so these are also a series of other workshops and conferences on generative music. And finally, you can also check out the Journal of Creative Music Systems. Now, what I suggest you to do here is not to go and check all the papers and read through them, rather just like get an idea of the type of topics that are covered. And yeah, 
just get the gist of it. Now, I'm going to link, uh, give you like the link to all of these resources down in the uh, description box. Okay, so that's basically it for the video. But before I dash off, I want to ask you something. So please ask the questions that all like doubts, questions that you have in mind down in the comment section below so that I can try like, to answer some of these questions. And the ones that I think are the most significant, most relevant for the community, I'm going to bundle in an FAQ section that then I'm going to uh, publish on the open source research uh, project website on GitHub. Okay, that's all for today. I'm really, really excited to starting this journey together and I'm really looking forward to Saturday, the 14th of November for our Kickstart Zoom meeting. So until then, that's all for today. Cheers, bye.